they needed someone that was both uh, both fast enough to to keep up behind the motorbike and crazy enough to even try it. I really started uh, riding riding bikes uh, when I was uh, about 18 years old, um, just because I wasn't uh, I didn't want to drive a car, and uh, commuting by bike and getting around by bicycle made a lot of sense. And uh, this was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And then um, when I was uh, 19, I got a job as a bicycle courier. The the fixed gear trend was was starting and then uh, we're how you know I got started you know in any sort of bike racing through uh, through messenger races and, and alley cats and, and then uh, I moved to Portland Oregon and there was a velodrome I thought it would be funny to take my bike to the velodrome and, and try some races and I mean when I started on the velodrome you know it was cut off shorts and you know maybe a t-shirt and maybe some you know some spandex underneath and I didn't want to be associated with these these bike racer people. I was, I was a bike messenger. I was a, a punk kid, you know, riding in the streets and being tough and, you know, and track bike in the snow and in Pittsburgh with the hills. And um, I had some friends that, that raced and I, you know, we would just, you know, we'd make fun of them for, and then before you know it, you're one of those spandex guys and Karsten Podlisch wanted an American to come over to Germany and to learn how to do the stair races, to, uh, to have an American in the field. Um, and there had been no American stair racer for uh, decades. It, the racing is it's, it's very, it's very strange, very different than anything that happens in the U.S. Um, and uh, the races are very fast and you're, you're behind this big motorbike and there's other big motorbikes on the track and you're millimeters from the back roller and so it's it's crazy and you know I think most people you know perceive it as being quite dangerous and it's a weird uh, niche sort of racing but um, it's fun it's enjoyable uh, also hard to the learning curve is is, is very hard.
I had a pretty good idea of, of what it was like coming in, but uh, just to be there was uh, kind of unreal, just to actually be in it instead of watching it and seeing you know the behind the scenes and in the cabins and with the, the soigneurs and the mechanics and everything going on. It's, uh, it's, it's really exciting. It's just, it's, it's, just, uh, it's crazy. <laughs> And uh, really just, you know, when it gets hard, the, the cheers from the crowd are, you know, it's, it really helps uh, keep the legs turning. The bike racing world can be very uh, snobby and rich and, and this, uh, I, I like, having the, the dirty punk kids from the bike courier scene come in and uh, especially when they, they come in and they're, and they're strong and fast and they can do well and you sort of uh, change the trend a little bit and you uh, change people's minds about you know, who should be on the track and, and these things. So it's, uh, I think it's, it keeps it interesting. You know, we wanna, we wanna keep, keep the sport of cycling exciting. <laughs>